there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode here on Pastiche of Skin. Today we are looking at something that's a bit of a promotional kind of like hype train look at Gravity Rush. There's Gravity Rush, the animation, a two-part animated uh, video that was actually posted up onto the PlayStation advertising stores on the PlayStation EU, on the PlayStation US, all of the channels that they have. And um, I haven't watched it yet. I'm kind of assuming it's a little bit of an, like... A story that's basically kind of connecting the first movie game to the second game because they're about to come out really soon. And uh, I have done gameplay of Gravity Rush 2 for the channel. It is actually queued up to be seen really soon. So I thought it would actually be uh, appropriate, I suppose, would be the best way to describe it. To actually kind of like look at some of the animation that goes along with it. Kind of like the same way I did as a hype train for Final Fantasy 15 with Brotherhood as well. So maybe you guys will enjoy this. I don't know what this is actually containing, so I'm looking forward to seeing it for the first time, really, along with you all. Now, the art style of the Gravity Rush series is really, really enjoyable. I, I like the world, I like the city that it all takes place in. But, um, I don't know how much we're actually going to get to see of that from the game world in this whenever we're just doing traditional 2D animation. I wonder if I actually know the animation company that did this one as well. Who is this talking? This doesn't sound like Japanese voice actress of the original, um, cat. Okay. So, um, I've played the first Gravity Rush game. Haven't completed it, but I enjoyed the hell out of what I did play of it. It's not that long of a game, it's a really simple game to play through. I've played through a bit of it on the PS Vita, and then I bought it for the PS4 with the intention of playing through the whole thing, but never got around to it, so I don't know whether or not this is actually going to be relevant. Ooh, Overture. So they, it's face A, face B, I'm assuming, is actually the two uh, parts of it. God, I love her powers. Adorable cat. She just loves the world that she lives in. You didn't think about it, but you wouldn't actually do that much walking, would you? <laughs> if you could glide, you just like slide everywhere. You just do a magneto. Jurga mm. Paralau? So. Oh! It almost seems like this is like the opening bits to the, um... If, the bird, if a bird steals this, it'll be hilarious. Is it? Nope, someone else is going to distract. <laughs> I, was, I was almost sure that this was going to actually do exactly what it does in the opening bit of the demo that I played, where a bird steals it and you have to actually, like, get your controls and get used to it. Gravity control! Alright, so we're of course getting attacked by a bunch of these shadow creature missing me bobbers. Stab kick! <laughs> now the combat in the Gravity Rush games is fun. It does it feels like a superhero kind of like beat down every single time. Although I abuse the hell out of those kind of like gravity rush gravity kicks. Even though she does a full spinning bird kick and all this stuff. It gets up before it hits the ground. Meat! <laughs> She's just getting a bite to eat, man. Girls got her priorities. They got, you can't really beat that. <gasps> Get it up of the ground! Oh no. I do believe it's time to actually just go batch it. Hmm? Lose your shit, girl. Oh, I thought it was going to be all special attack time. <laughs> I like the fact that he just takes it out on them over a little bit of meat. This is this is like John Wick levels of actually like revenge. 
You killed my dog. Now you die. Looks like she's really only killed one of these. <laughs> the cat can just walk over and start eating it. What, like, get you a new skewer? Alright, copper boy. Oh, I do, I do love the actual, like, um, auto targeting they have whenever you can, just lift round to try to so you just, like, pick up a full load of, like, seven bullets, and you just, like, pop, 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 knock them down with it. By necessity, that's why. Oh, there we go. To get a little introduction to Raven and the, um, animation as well, for people who have not seen any of the game at all. Cool. So there's Raven and Cat. Obviously, you can tell that they're kind of like their spirit animals. Is their naming conventions from. We don't know much more about. Well, I definitely don't know much more about the character of Raven, other than the fact that she just exists. She's another person with gravity powers. So um, hope this actually kind of gets a little bit more explanation as we go along because it feels like the original game didn't quite. Um, it, it opened up more questions rather than answered a whole lot of them. Raven's a lot less for small talk and just wants to kill them all, I suppose. Cat's charming, but I think I actually like Raven more. She's my bae. What? Gravity kick! Oh, with the two of them together? Oh, ho, ho. You guys are all fucked now. <laughs> it's like watching like a space explosion in like Great Battle of Yam or Great Spaceship Ma Yamato or one of the Gundam games. You know, like they have that like space laser that goes <laughs> explosions all the way along the line of the laser uh, about two seconds afterwards. Gravity ball. Flashback to the end of. Ooh, interesting. So flashback to the end of Gravity Rush One. I'm assuming. So yeah, uh, Overture Face B. We'll get to see that now very shortly. Like as in right now. <laughs> Sorry about that in the mic there. Just, I was actually trying to make a point of actually being him. Press and click on my fingers in time, but no, I just don't have the space we never got this sitting here. I'll be more careful. I'll be more careful, guys. Oh, I won't hurt you. I won't hurt you. Won't hurt your ears. Something terrible? What was it? Food. <laughs> She's just a messy bitch. I think they're kind of like basically built into you so you don't get the choice. Stuff your face. Choking on the salty pretzels. What's so important and what's happening to all those orphans? Yeah, Raven seems to actually be um, just a more active and pro. She's got the moody kind of like 1990s hero thing going off her.
It's just the fact that it's actually all oh, fascinating. We're superheroes. What else we got to do in life other than sample all of the foods? <laughs> Fly yourselves up, girls. Ah, man. I really want to play more of this game. It's just trying to find the time to actually fit games in. <laughs> Still make sure to get a little bite of chocolate to get yourself rowdy. I love the idea, actually, that every time that you're using your powers, they're going like, alright, my feet are going up that direction. I'm, oh, excuse me, hang on, I gotta go. X-Cop, wine connoisseur. Well, that is really creepy. Oh, that's not nice. So, is this like the ending of Gravity Roads that leads into like the big space portal at the end? Is that what this like last this almost fits in with? Well, not space portal, a gravity portal. <laughs> it's just like you can actually like be an asshole in every direction that you feel like you're like, I'm gonna flip around over here and still be a dick to you because we keep falling in that direction. What's inside these tanks? I see red eyes. I'm going to punch it. Is he like summoning Neve? Oh no, he's got oh, he's calling in these three. Okay. Are they gravity shifters in the same vein? Are they just like kids that'll be modified by this shit? That's a lot of headbutts that are being trying to be thrown there. What the heck? You interrupted my wine! Ah! They do seem to be property kind of like better at working together, maybe? So are these dimensional shifters rather than gravity shifters, maybe? Yeah, I was going to think, going to crush them or something. Boom! There's none of you left. Nope, there goes your balls of wine. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, giving you a speed boost. Oh no, I thought she was gonna slingshot her in. Oh, ooh, oh, 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 oh. Yeah, there's there's not much left of your internal organs. I love the kind of like the costumes are a bit Eagle Riders esque or uh, what uh, G Force Five or uh, what else were they called? Kamen? No, it wasn't Kamen Riders. Something or other. The ones, the ones with the birds. G Force. Yeah. Whoa. Okay, so with their explosion, this pretty much just went. Okay. Giant gravity hole, everything's going to be destroyed. So it's just a large enough power source, maybe? Bye-bye, Hexville. Right. I'm curious to know more? So this is a subplot. Is this a kind of like the... Um, the creatures and enemies that you have to like, essentially hunt down over time at some point through Gravity Rush 2. Ooh. These angels are going to be used as a, like a key to some ultimate weapon. Meh. I don't know. I, I mean, my context is completely lost. <laughs> that's, a, that's the biggest problem. Just like the idea of just keeping these kids inside tubes is really creepy unto itself. So, um, fair play to you game designers. Fair play to you. What does it all mean? See the Well that's him saved. So Sid, her and Raven all making it to this new place um that you do see from the uh intro that I will show in Gravity Rush 2. Although admittedly they seem to be like on a boat and stuff, I thought they would actually like kind of arrive safely to that place without any issue. But maybe this is what it is. Hey! Far, far away from Hexville. There we go. So this kind of gives me a context for how they end up in the beginning of Gravity Rush 2. Yeah, that's exactly the kind of context I needed. And so begins another adventure for Cat. There you go. Gravity Rush, Gravity Diaz. Yeah, Gravity Diaz being the uh, Japanese title for the game series. Um... Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Does this actually show anything else? Uh, it's probably got a little bit more here at the end. Quite possibly. Yes, trailer for Gravity Rush 2, I think. What? Oh, is this... Something else altogether? All right, so this is actually just kind of an intro to the uh, the next game. So yeah, uh, Cat the Gravity Shifter, off an adventure again. This is pretty cool. Uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing Gravity Rush 2. I really want to actually get into the game. Uh, it's of course coming out in this month, so it's not that long to go. So um, if you want to check it out, you can check out the demo that I'll have linked in here. They're singing on the stage. They just give her a musical number? I'm glad she has fun. Um, so you can check out the demo of Gravity Rush 2 here on the channel at some point. I'm thinking, a oh, night, what this? Oh, I was just wondering if that was actually Raven there, but it mightn't be. It's different colors. But the uh, the demo will be on the channel for you to see me playing it. And you can, of course, check it out yourself on the PSN network. It is available in the UK store already. I don't know what's happened with it possibly not showing up in the US store just yet, but it will probably arrive very soon. But uh, we've got the different angels that are referred to in that video. This is going to make the um, 
This is going to make it actually have like a proper context to kind of like a bosses to fight down rather than actually feeling like a whole bunch of little mini adventures that you took place in in the original game. So if you wanted to check it out, you can of course get Gravity Rush reasonably cheap in the store and on, especially in this store now. I think it's actually going sealed until the 6th of January, but you can get, uh, get it for the PS4 or PS Vita very, very easily. I actually recommend the PS Vita version if you are a Vita user because it's one of the, it's one of those quintessential games that actually was designed for the Vita and is best enjoyed on it. So guys, thank you very much for watching. This has been um, a quick look at Gravity Rush 2. Here is part of the um, kind of hype, hype train series. I'm sorry, I wanted to pause that right on the Gravity Rush pause picture, but I didn't really time that right. So yeah, um, not much else I can really tell you guys about Gravity Rush until the uh, full game releases and you can see some of the gameplay that I actually already have up on the channel. It's, it's just scheduled so that this goes up just before it. And even though I actually watch these afterwards, as is the nature of production on the internet, you actually have to have a little bit of life. And I'm not going to lie to you guys. I trust you guys. I love everybody who actually comes to watch the channel. So I hope you actually do appreciate my honesty. It comes from the heart. Seriously, it really does. So guys, thank you very much for watching. This has been uh, Past Each of Skin. If you like the show, if you like what I do here on the channel, you can hit the subscribe button sitting right up there. It's actually easy enough to hit. Whenever you hit that button, it allows you to actually see everything that I post up on a regular basis through your subscription list thing. And over on this side here is actually a bunch of other programs that I've worked on, made here on the channel. I uh, recommend some of these particular shows over others. There is um, going to be the video for Gravity Rush 2 sitting here and a few other things that I recommend you check out. So in that case, I will see all you dudes in the next video. Bye!